So uh, we've brought D'Angelo on today to just join us through um, a flurry of nonsense and hijinks um, couched with uh, emotional vulnerability and just talking about life and stuff. So um, go on to actual questions for D'Angelo. Are you planning on doing more collabs with other people? Well, that's a good question. Yes, probably in the future. I currently hate this one that they're doing right now. Cool. No, but it's like it's, an, it's important to get used used to it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is the other collab. But um, is this with that notorious no, piece of kidding. shit, Cody Co? Um, <laughs> God, <laughs> Ew, I don't know why we, why Jordan brings up Cody Co so much. <laughs> he's he's a, we like Cody Co. He's a nice boy. I know. Cody Co probably just wants the clout. Yeah, yeah Cody Co wants like, the clout. What does he have? Like four million. He just hit five million. Thing? Congrats to D'Angelo for one Big million up. subscribers. Con- Congrats to Cody Co yeah. for yeah. five. You know we yeah. should we should hit him up for the clout for sure. Come on, Cody Co. Hey man, five no, million, but you could be at Cody. six. <laughs> <laughs> you tempted, <laughs> right? Imagine not having six million subscribers. I, know. I don't have six million subscribers, but imagine. But I can't imagine it, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, that's a good example of somebody I wouldn't mind collaborating yeah. with. Cody Ko, Danny Gonzalez, Drew mm. Gooden, uh, Curtis Connor. Well, I just listed the same person. Like, yeah, yeah, But yeah. yeah, I would definitely collab with all of them. Also, have you guys ever watched Scott Kramer? Yeah. Yes. Yes. His videos are excellent. Kramer I would love rules. to do a video Shout with out him. to Shot Kramer. Sk- is, Shot is, Kramer? Is, <laughs> Shot, yeah, that's when right, you watch one of his a, videos. Let's give a Scott game. out to Shot Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas's nose is bleeding. Um, I just, yeah. His strugglers. No, yeah, Scott's pretty movie. great. Where's he at right now, size-wise? Has he, has he gotten the blow-up that he deserves? He's at like 420-something K. Oh, oh dude, stay there. Stay, yeah. stay exactly there. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, am I right? Because that would be really disturbing. Because I I don't have it in front of me. Let's find out. <laughs> so, shout out to uh, Tiffany Ferg as well, who makes really great videos. Yes. I I don't want to do a collab with her because I couldn't keep up. Like I legitimately <laughs> would be left in the dust. I, she's great. I like like where commentary is going because. I love all of the white boys in commentary to death, but it's cool to see like uh, more like women in the space. Have you ever watched Amanda, Amanda BB? I haven't. Oh my <laughs> gosh. She is legitimately the funniest person on YouTube as well as the funniest person on Twitter. Oh, I've got to follow. I, just, I can't explain what it's like to watch her. She doesn't even, like she just delivers her videos flatly. I don't know how yeah, she does yeah. it. Like there's not even that much editing. She's just effortless it's just uh, it's an I just want to give a like shout that. out to literally my favorite channel on youtube which is uh and i know like maybe the upload frequency doesn't quite put her in the same camp but uh i jenny nicholson if it, when oh, a new jenny, jenny nicholson. nicholson video comes oh, out i cancel so all my appointments i i yeah. turn off all the lights in my room i take off my glasses so i can experience it only in sound also sarah sarah z <laughs> i like yes lot. Um, she was actually. I've seen her. That's, it was a segue. I thought she said it's Sarah Z or something. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah Z is a Z because she's. I can't Canada. deal with people who say Z. Yeah, because <laughs> she's a, a traitor. Period. Cool. This is a fun little uh, plug. Other creators' moment. Oh, also, like. if right. people people are, we don't hate, yeah, if wow. people are like just. <laughs> that's actually that's a common that's a common assumption I get is that I hate like literally Yo. everyone on YouTube because I only ever criticize. Yeah. Them. No. Same. 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 <laughs> I mean, I have a bunch of comments on my Dan okay. Bilzerian video that are telling me I'm just jealous of his riches and all the women he has. Right. That's true, man. Like, I mean, you, you don't even play poker. It blows Yikes. my, oh, also <laughs> shout out to Lindsay Ellis. Yeah. Uh, Lindsay Ellis is Lindsay the homie. Ellis, she, her videos are masterful. Uh, we could, we should probably get Lindsay Ellis on the show. Oh yeah. She would we come have, on. She would come I'd, on. Yeah. Have you been recognized much, D? I mean, you're not going out. Oh yeah. Time, I would imagine. No, it's because I'm in Texas. I think if I was somewhere more like LA, I'm yeah. sure I'd be bound to run into one of my 1 million subscribers. Yeah. But it, nobody lives in Texas besides me, literally. <laughs> I I got recognized a lot in San Francisco because like I had the tech thing. And so like in tech mm. circles, they were like very connected. Um, like the last time I was in San Francisco, somebody recognized me where, when I was wearing a mask and I was like, Jesus, this is um, why I wear the mask. But in LA, I haven't been recognized except well, no, because I never leave my apartment now because it's COVID. But uh, I was recognized two times uh, of note, like in LA since moving here and like leaving my house. One was a cashier at a uh, at a grocery store near my place who was just like casually bagging the stuff and was like, "Hey, you look like that guy who like talks about like trim trim and stuff." And I was like. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> she was like so cute about it, and that was great. And then uh, a slightly creeper one, but it's okay because it was like a child. I uh, I got into my. You recognize them? 
No, I, hey. <laughs> uh, Interesting. No, I, I like got home from something and I saw this like family there and this like little girl like glanced at me and then they were like the family was loitering around and then i looked at my dms like after i got home and this girl was like did i just see you walk into your house but she was like she was like 14 or something and so it was like a child and i didn't reply because i didn't want to dox myself or tell her where i like Mm. lived or whatever but now i'm letting her know if you you're right on the money you found me (laughs) (laughs) feel free to share that information um <laughs> as you should uh but yeah i was gonna say that uh of all the youtubers everyone's mentioned like um everyone who i've met has been great like danny drew curtis all those guys are super mm. rad and i mean i'm sure we'll get them on the show eddie and gus as well um, oh my god we'll the, definitely, the, literally like, i'm like overwhelmed on. by how nice i also i also you know i don't know we haven't discussed my shane video but i want to get katie morton on sad boy she would be really good yeah no, that would be uh, interesting. She'd be, she'd, be, she'd be really good. Um, so that would be, I, I like, she's really amazing. She's a great person, Katie, and I just would love her to have her on the show. Uh, Noel Miller also. Yeah, yes. that's obviously, yeah. I, Noel I don't know cool. Cortrezy. I don't either. Uh, I've watched one of Cortrezy's videos. She's hilarious. She's up and coming. Her channel is actually blowing up right now. It, I, that's so creepy. I just I keep exposing myself as somebody who knows the subscriber count of like everybody. Oh, on YouTube. You I, crushed I've it. been there. Kramer I've wise, been dude, there. you fucking nailed it. You were like the six thousand off. It was one twenty uh, four twenty six. <laughs> the reason that <laughs> I um, even thought that I could have a viral like growth moment on YouTube was because I saw it happen with Drew Gooden, and I watched like basically I watched every creator when I was like trying to blow up and was trying to reverse engineer like how to make it happen for myself. Um, eventually worked, yes. who knew? <laughs> this is a point from earlier. I tried to pivot. Like I made a video called um, the worst software engineering advice I've ever seen, which was like a commentary tech video. And uh, and then and then at the end of that, I like teased five minute crafts. And then I made a five minute crafts video after that and nobody watched it. <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> everyone was like, not a fan of the video. They were like, what are you doing? These life right. life hacks, where's the tech or whatever. Mm. And I was like, okay, great. I'm never going to make a commentary video again. And then I, <laughs> and then I like would do this thing where I would like make a tech video. So that, like people would get, you know, they would get the views and my channel would continue growing, but then I would keep trying to do, um, trying to do the commentary thing and then out of nowhere i think it's because cody co released a video called uh five minute crafts it was just called five minute crafts and i was like oh he used the name of the channel and i had made my i made a video about five minute crafts that was called the worst life hacks i've ever seen or something like that and i just changed it to five minute crafts is the worst channel on youtube and then like 48 hours later it got uh two million views in like a weekend and i got like that's uh, yeah i like went from like 50 to like 300k subscribers like over that weekend it was crazy i got you a uh, i was really frustrated because i got you a congrats on a hundred thousand i got you like you a happy birthday uncle or something card and i just were like congrats on a hundred thousand and then i had to cross it out and put two hundred thousand and you ruined my surprise <laughs> jordan got me a card that was for like uh someone's 100th birthday <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was it <laughs> yeah. to your grandpa and he, and he put like 100k congrats or whatever yeah. which by the way they can't be shifting a lot of units of that card, right? Like, Definitely just, not. There's I, no way. How many 100 year old? They, they there's, put there's it directly next Maybe to like. People are giving it to their grandpas. My to be rude. consolations <laughs> and then like <laughs> funeral expenses. <laughs> uh, um, wait, Angelo, do you get trickled down to your older videos much, or is it just new videos onwards that got like the? Yeah, actually, all of my videos have over a hundred thousand views but it's slow of course the older ones well that's the thing you're doing it right because you like it's like if you build it they will come right like you you have like the library of content and then like you have your one big thing that hits and that's probably similar to a bunch of the other content because you can never control these things and then it just Mm -hmm. like a wave just like flows over everything so it's fun to see it's fun to see what gets like a rising tide lifts all boats or whatever it's funny to see what videos get get lifted because now i have tech videos that are over a million views which is very weird because it's like uh <laughs> and, and it's like i don't know who those who those people are but uh right. be, we want to be bingeable that's the rule you got to be a bingeable channel yes someone asks why are you sad which is a question we get a lot because the podcast is called sad boys and the oh. the, the answer is like we're all you know it's like do we not have a range of emotions i think the point is that right uh 
you know, especially guys are not as comfortable being emotionally vulnerable. So, right. you know, we're we're sensitive and we are yeah. like to talk about our feelings every now and then. And I think that's how well, what people don't know is the full name of the podcast is allowed to be sad boys. podcast. Yeah. But we just truncated yeah. it. We are sad. <laughs> how are you doing today? What's your approx? <laughs> Originally, we were going to title it. uh Boys Don't Cry uh, mm. by Frank Ocean, and then that was taken by Frank Ocean, and then we were going to call it Blonde by Frank Ocean, <laughs> yeah. and Yikes. then that was also taken that by Frank Ocean. That got stolen by that fucking hack. <laughs> yeah. This Frank Ocean uh, guy can't come up with original. There was a point in time we did, <laughs> some people already know this, but we genuinely, like the first little test episode we did, we did call the show Talking White. That was like initially going to be the Oh, the yeah. Title. So Very the, interesting. The original premise of the show was like, <laughs> when I was growing up, I always sounded like this. And people would tell me that I talked white. And I'm like, I don't know any white people. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's like, how is hey, that? Yeah, I, I don't assume know. they're great. <laughs> I just don't yeah, know yeah, any. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, I guess I talk like the television. And that's all I, that's really all I have to go on because I was kind of raised by TV in one way or another. But uh, did you ever have that experience at all? Like, did anyone ever criticize your speech or on the phone? Like, I remember my brother was like talking to some girl and, and then she was like, who's that? And he was like, oh, it's my brother. And they, she was like, he sounds white. Like that, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> to me, honestly, it's just the most mind blowing concept in the entire world because it's like, what does that mean? Like legitimately, yeah, yeah, what yeah. does it mean? I certainly hope it doesn't mean like, Speaking articulate? I think that's I think that might be what people mean. Uh, I gotta comment. Wait. Right. Hang on. I I gotta uh this is another thing, and I know we are getting back to the questions for D'Angelo, but I uh, this no, is an no, interesting no thing. I got a comment that said um it was weird and it was bad. <clears throat> okay. Wait, is this As for our new are. section? Yeah. Why is everybody being so mean to me? Oh yeah, this is a, a section we like to call why is everybody being so mean to me? <laughs> um Mood. someone said uh this is on my I think the video I did about Shane. You're damn near white in every aspect and hollering black this and that. And I'm like mm. what is oh. what does white in every aspect even mean to this person? Well apparently it means uh, that you can't be upset about somebody doing blackface. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like mm, you don't look like Shane when he does blackface, so you're not allowed to be. You don't get it. <laughs> it's <laughs> funny. I know what a real black person yeah. looks like. I watch. <laughs> I watch. <laughs> look, I am right. deep in the minstrel circuit. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> <laughs> I have connections that you could only dream of. <laughs> oh my god, me and my boys all look like Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> As we should. Um, it's a compliment. So <laughs> He's powerful, okay? <laughs> you should be happy. <laughs> so, um, gone to actual questions for D'Angelo. What made you want to start YouTube? Well, interestingly enough, my degree is actually in mass communication with a concentration in digital film and television production. So, I was already. So, like, it's a pretty, yeah, it was a pretty far reach for you. <laughs> pretty out of your wheelhouse. Right. Yeah. I had to learn so I much. I saw that to, your to first YouTube. video was you like holding the camera in front of your face, like, what is this? What is this? This strange was, like, phone. <laughs> Amazing you were able Why to get is that it red? on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I accidentally uploaded my first video. It's a little bit of canon. No, I'm just kidding. I had the channel bef before this, like before my first channel, actually, where I would just upload speed paints because I just mm. I really wanted to do the art thing. Yeah. But these speed paints had no commentary. And I was just every day like, why isn't anybody watching my commentary less videos yeah. of a screen recording <laughs> that have no yeah. value whatsoever? You were, you were ahead of your time. If you'd this. put that in like a square and on Facebook and sped it up mm. and put like a little music behind it, you could have been 20 million a viral, views. Yeah, a viral video. <laughs> so when I started realizing, oh, okay, other people get views because they talk in their videos, and that's when they started talking in my art videos. <laughs> And then from there, it just kind of spiraled into what it is today. But yeah, no, I, I it's not even necessarily that I wanted to be a YouTuber. I just, I wanted to make videos. I've always wanted to like make videos. Even before I was on YouTube, I was doing it for school. Before I kind of knew what YouTube was, I would make like little videos on Movie Maker. Yeah. And so, yeah. So even if YouTube went away tomorrow, I would be okay. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't, but I would still know how to make videos right. and I would still just continue doing that wherever I had to. Great answer. I think I have a, a, mu a much deeper and important question uh, now because this ought to be interesting. How tall are you? Oh, gosh. 
why do I even answer when people ask me how tall I am? Because they never believe yeah. me. I am six foot one. So <laughs> my driver's license says six foot two because I lied. Squad. But I am literally six foot one. I don't know what to tell you. I <laughs> Were you embarrassed at the DMV? <laughs> You have a very strange no, relationship with your car. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, we're not going to talk about the license. Actually, should I stand up? Well, then like, again, I'm going to have to redo focus. I believe you. Um, no one no one will believe you. I know because I'm also 6'1", and, and Jordan is 6'3". And one time we stood up next to each other in a video, and people still don't believe. Like, people tell me I have small king energy or something. People are... Uh, quote unquote fucking choking based on your height. So I hope you uh, yeah. have a Wait, good legal. I, I, I all my videos this is the like best this. of both worlds. You I get, should be doing my videos like this. We get and short king. That. I'm <laughs> short king energy <laughs> while not being short. You can reach high shelves <laughs> while still being an absolute unit. Nah, miss me with that short king. <laughs> we don't do that on my yeah, channel. Right. Right. I don't know what the hell that's like. Every every stuff. short king <laughs> is is bad. I think is what you're saying. Yeah, we we don't mess with that short case <laughs> stuff on my channel. You hear that, Cody Co? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get at this shit. We got you. We're and then so like hard tall. cut to him right. being on the show and us just being like, oh, bye, Cody. <laughs> Someone said I became 10 times hotter by doing the voice. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. You know who's also really <laughs> tall? Drew and Danny are both really tall. Yeah. I think Drew boys. and I no, are the same not. height. Yeah. There's a photo, there's no a photo of me next to Drew. I can't pull it up here, but like... We're standing next to each other, and I think we're the same height. Now I know how it feels because I legitimately yeah. would not picture. Yeah, them as Danny's being tall. tall. Yeah. Um, Jakey's tall too. Yeah. Oh, also shout out to great commentary channels. I guess yeah. it's more like an SA channel, but he does it in the commentary style. Someone said maybe it's because my camera's pointed downward at me. Did they just solve my entire? I don't know. Oh <laughs> so it's. <laughs> Do I need to read? I don't know. Maybe it's because they're watching it on a small screen. <laughs> I want it to be like proportional. Right? Watch it on your TV, and then I'll be seven feet tall. <laughs> cool. <laughs> There's a lot of people asking you why you're so beautiful, which is like a brand I wish I built for myself. What's the answer? <laughs> okay, well, the short answer to why I'm so beautiful is because I just legitimately am aware mm. of it. I feel like, yeah, yeah. I feel like, I think everyone looks really good, yeah. but not everyone no, is aware so of it. So right. people kind of carry themselves weirdly. Yeah, but yeah. once I started looking at myself on camera and I was like, wow, this is my angle. And this is my angle. Yeah. They're all my angles. Holy yeah, crap. Yeah. I am like literally the definition of attractive. People just started saying it. I started saying it and then other people started saying that. it. I'm just like, it's, I think it's so manifest. <laughs> people, people who can bring the drip and then don't acknowledge it. I find that shit so fucking uh, disingenuous because it's, it's like being like, you know how like uh, people with like rich parents and stuff will talk about being broke. And it's because like you, you don't get to have money and complain about being broke. Like not getting right? to complain <laughs> is the tax on having cash, and like not right. getting to complain or like be faux disingenuous about the way that you look is the tax on being sexy. <laughs> like you, t you're not allowed Literally. to do both. That's that's indulgent. Right. That's bullshit. Like imagine, imagine if I'm trying to think of somebody. I'm trying to think of an example. Uh, who's universally accepted to be pretty? Yeah, Shane. <laughs> uh, besides Shane, um, <laughs> I don't know, it's hard for me to think of Angelina there Jolie. I think. Yeah. I think. Mm. Yeah. Imagine if Angelina Jolie was walking around like like the typical relatable YouTuber thing, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, I look like an egg. Oh my yeah, gosh, I look like an egg, today. guys." Um, this is so bad. This lighting is so bad. That would be so difficult to yeah. watch. And actually, I feel that way about certain YouTubers because it's just yeah. like, stop. Like, how dare I you? can see the studio lights in your eyes. I can see everything you're doing to achieve this effort. You also, right. And then you're going to go around and call yourself a potato. You, you have like a responsibility yeah. as an influencer that looks great. You have an obligation to not make your younger audience feel like complete shit. Like if you describe yes, yourself as, oh, I'm so ugly, yeah. and they're looking at themselves in their phone reflection, they're like, I don't even know how to dress. You're making me feel terrible. That's actually something I wanted to talk about, but I haven't because I don't necessarily know how to talk about it. But I noticed some YouTubers who rely super heavy on the self-deprecation, and I'm not talking about just like, oh, wow, I don't look in this outfit because right. we all have moments yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Even I have moments where I'm like, huh, maybe I should yeah, yeah, yeah. pair this with mm. something else. But the YouTubers you just watch and it's just like a constant outpouring of, I look ugly, gosh, I wish I looked different. And then I look at their comment section and they're all like, well, if you look ugly, what do I look like? I just exactly. feel like that is so unaddressed. Yeah. There's no way that's healthy. Yeah, I, I feel agree. like some people are like unintentionally consuming a stream of content that is actively making them feel worse about themselves. That like faux, oh, but if I say I look sexy and people are gonna be mad at me and I'm gonna be embarrassed, that doesn't actually happen. <laughs> like it can right. sometimes for a beat, but 
get over yourself for a second. If you start saying it, right. 2% of people are going to say that you're flexing, whatever. But don't. No, not. That's the tax. Yeah. <laughs> you you get you. the drip and you don't get to moan. That's the, that's the trade-off. D'Angelo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gucci girl, Gucci girl, how you doing? How you moving girl? Moving girl, how's your day looking? That future girl, future girl, yeah, we on now. Take my money, go away, all you want it. Gucci rich for me.